Hello everyone. I hope I'm audible and uh, welcome to Daily Elastic Byte again. Uh, I'm Arvind and today we're going to discuss about data streams. Uh, today specifically, uh, we're going to talk about this append only new indexing strategy that is available in Elasticsearch. Uh, we did release it in few few uh, releases back in Elasticsearch. So what is a data stream? So a data stream is a append only uh, stream that uh, helps you to like kind of uh, ingest the uh, time series data uh, and roll over automatically whenever you have uh, the ind whenever the conditions uh, set by you are met uh, met met by the indices so say for example in this current in the diagram that i'm showing here uh, you have a logs data stream and then uh, you have the backing indices which are hidden uh, but uh, the write is happening only to a specific index, uh, but the reads are happening to all the indices that are available. So a data stream is kind of an alias, but it's not exactly an uh, uh, what I should say. It's it's not it's not an uh, the alias that previous alias, but it has superpowers that helps you to do a lot of things uh, uh, automatically. So the only key here is it is only for a time series indexing and it is specifically uh, it needs a matching index template uh, so let us get around and like quickly see uh, what are the various things that you could do with data streams so i have uh, i have a kibana here and then i have a list of uh, indices here and uh, if you could see that uh, uh, I'm, I'm i'm having some system indices and some normal indices here and then uh, i also have uh, uh, some commands that I want to execute right now and I just want to create a data stream. So before uh, creating a data stream, I just want to say that there is an API. Again, data stream is an API that you could create it through the Kibana UI as well as uh, it has an API in Elasticsearch and you could use that. So if, if I want to create the data stream here, I could simply click on this and then, oh, it didn't create the data stream. But why? Because uh, it says that there is no matching index template. As I said, that uh, you need a matching index settings uh, that is there in uh, Elasticsearch for, uh, for you to create this data stream. And I believe we have already discussed uh, index management and the index templates uh, previously in, a, in an uh, Elastic Byte session. I just quickly like, you know, create a sample index template, which is very basic. I just want to show it uh, via the UI. I believe uh, in the previous sessions, we have uh, discussed in detail about all of this like about the component index templates etc i'm giving them index pattern as uh, my hyphen star and it says like create a data stream when this sort of a uh, request comes through then i'll click next i just want to add uh, because i want to create a log stream i want to add a log specific mappings and settings and then i don't have index settings specifically mappings etc so i'll just quick for for forward and like i'll I can create a template. Obviously, like you could also use an index template API to create this index template, uh, but I'm just using the Kibana UI at this moment of time. So I have this uh, index template setup, which says that uh, anything that starts with uh, my hyphen uh, star, it'll it'll start that. So you could also find out the list of index templates through the index template API. I'm not going to go there, but I'm just going to explain about all of these details that we have. We also don't have the uh, my data stream that I'm going to create right now uh here uh, in the in, in the elastic search that i am already deploying so let us quickly uh create a you know a data stream and index some docs here uh but the key thing to observe here is uh, when you create a data stream uh it won't create an uh like you know a, a, a single index it creates a hidden system index but you get an alias like name which is the name that i'm trying to give here which is my data stream so, uh, and another thing that you have to remember is the create isn't only the uh, op type, the operation type that is supported. Uh, you will not have uh, something like, uh, you, you will not be able to like uh, do a lot of things that are regularly supported on an index uh, because it is an append only stream. If you want to update the stream in the older indices, et cetera, you need to use some other queries that I'll come to, come to the, in the later part of the session. So here, if you see here, uh, we have, uh, I'm, I'm just creating this off like, you know, my data stream, we, we don't have that. I just gave a sample uh, doc. 
another thing to remember like i keep saying this is a time series index this is an append only index that means it needs to have a time stamp so uh, it, it needs to have a field which says specifically says time stamp because all the logs metrics synthetics a lot of these data sources time series oriented they have this time series uh, time stamp as part of their document so when they are shipping data from the infrastructure you will have that so that is what we are trying to do it here so i'm just going to like create this uh create this data stream you see here that the index field is not the data stream name that we have created but it says that uh it, it creates a hidden and a system index that is managed by Elasticsearch. Uh, and it creates all of these uh, the regular stuff like you also see the op type is created now uh, the cool thing with data stream is like you could link it with uh, you are you are already linking linking it with a index template and index template can contain an ilm policy uh, like say index life cycle management policy uh, through which you can automate the life cycle of the entire data stream like say you want the data stream to be to roll over after a specific set of time and you could specific you could easily do that so uh, so that's what you could easily do with this data stream stuff so i'll quickly click on roll over and you could see that uh, that data stream rolled over uh, to another index here uh, as you could see that uh, the the previous index this you could do it this manually as well so that's what this specific endpoint would do and when i write the data it will write into the index 2 but it will not write them into the index 1 say this one went into index 1 as you could see that but if i write this one it will go to the index 2 but when i'm trying to read this data uh, like say if i want to read it comes from both the indexes so uh, both the hidden indexes so uh, data stream is one such any async kind of con concept but it is very helpful if you are using time series indexing now quickly moving over we also have a specific recommended data stream uh, data stream naming convention that we would recommend you to do it say for example if i want to do a matrix for a specific sort of data set that i'm indexing into elastic search say it is good that if you use the matrix hyphen there are default index templates like log hyphen star matrix hyphen star synthetic hyphen star and you want to like kind of uh, simply use this convention so that like uh, it, it benefits you to identify a lot of these things like the type of the data and then like the data set that you're trying the product probably product name or the log type and then like you know the namespace whether it's production stage in qa etc so if i click this uh, it simply creates the data stream and all the apis uh, everything would work you could also say uh like you know update the queries of uh, the 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 details of a specific uh, documents in data stream say for example if i want to update all the username fields with a specific thing you could use an update by query and then you could run it all and like update all the things but you will not be able to like you know uh do several other operations like shrink close which affect the indexing uh, on and on on whole so so yeah i think uh i'm gonna stop it here but uh, these are the few things that you could, uh, I mean, like uh, things that I have demonstrated in eight minutes, but then if you want more, uh, you, you could definitely get the gist here of the session. And uh, that's it for today. Thank you.